Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, uh, we're sitting here on the back of the JL. Uh, today I wanna go over uh, um, setting up uh, automatic tire deflators. Uh, what I've got here is a kit from Boulder Tools and it comes with uh, a tire pressure gauge, um, a bunch of spare caps, uh, valves and a valve core tool and then a pouch with the four uh, tire deflators and they're nice brass quality and um, we're going to go through uh, how you set them up so if this is something you're interested in uh, please stay tuned to the video and uh, we'll go through the process of uh, how to set them so that when you screw them on it automatically goes to the tire pressure you want all right so um, for the type of off-roading and four-wheel drive uh, stuff that i do uh, 20 psi is about as low as i want to go if we go down into some sand uh, maybe we drop a little bit uh, lower than that but for me uh, the tires that we run we run right around 32 to 33 psi on the road uh, that's recommended by the manufacturer um, and by the tire installers and when we go off-road we get down to about 20 psi and uh, so we have these automatic inflators to be able to just screw them on to each one of the wheels and have them automatically deflate so you're not constantly having to to do it yourself so um, in order to set them it's a pretty simple process um, you take each one of the tire deflators to the tire deflators got a couple parts to it so it's got the body itself there's a lock ring on the bottom and then there's the actual pressure regulator on the top and to get started you want to screw the lock ring all the way down just so that it contacts and then on each of the tire flater, deflators you want to screw down um, the top ring all the way to the bottom and that's your start uh, point and it at this point has got the highest pressure that the, the thing is rated at and um, it's you do that for all four of them and then we'll bring the spare tire down to 20 psi because um, that's what we're going to set these at and then we'll set each one of these individually. All right, we're just going to start by taking the cap off. And then we're going to quickly take the included core tool and you'll feel that click in and we're just going to spin that out. You can start to hear the air coming out. That's just gonna help us get the tire pressure down a little faster. All right, I screwed the core back in and we're just gonna check it. So we're about 21 PSI right there, if you all can see that. And we're just gonna use this pressure relief valve to, to get us closer. All right, so you, as you can see, we're right at about 20 PSI. So you'll take your first tire deflator, make sure the ring's all the way down and this is seated. It doesn't have to be tight, it just has to be seated. And we're gonna thread that right on to the tire. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, the outer screw, and you're gonna move it counterclockwise until you start to hear air. You may need to pull the automatic depressor out uh, just to get the air flowing. And once you hear the air coming out, you want to turn it in a little like a quarter turn. And that'll let you know you're set where you need to be. Do you hear that? So I just, once the air started coming out, I turn it about a quarter turn and then I'll take the lock ring and seat them together and now it's set. Beauty is you have to, now that it's set, it's going to deflate to 20 PSI every single time. So let's go. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. You just have to set them once. Like I said, um, depending on the uh, automatic deflator you get, it gives you the range that you want. Um, if you need want to go super low and you've got bead locks, that's one thing you can get down into the 5 PSI range with bead locks. But on a normal conventional rim, 15 to 20 is really about as much as you want to go. Pretty simple, easy to set up. 
when you need to air down, uh, you just screw those on each tire and it'll drop it right down to 20 PSI, just like you want it to when you don't have to sit there and monitor it. Um, always make sure that you check it every now and again to make sure the pressure is where you want it to be and then just readjust them through the process if you need to. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and like, and uh, we'll talk to you later.